in the blink of an eye, these people lost everything. It was really like a bomb had got off. Things were just strewn everywhere, power poles all over the streets, you know, people's belongings just, just burnt to a crisp. We've seen the Hawaiian church burn. We've seen, you know, some of the houses burn. We've seen the shelter behind us burn. You could see Pumana and all the rest burning. There are no words to describe what they've gone through. Um, and to be frank with you, there's not much that I could say, but there's a lot that I can do. There's a lot that we can do to come alongside. I didn't sleep that night because, you know, just the thoughts of things going through and what we would need to be doing next. So as soon as we got up, we already knew, okay, we're going to have to make meals for these people. They, they're going to be displaced and we don't know where they're going to be. So, you know, we just started making meals. And, you know, that's what Salvation Army does, you know. They're in the beginning and they're at the end. So in the immediate aftermath of the fires in Lahaina and upcountry, uh, Salvation Army was coordinating and also paying for, through donors' gifts, uh, the meals that were going out to the shelters and first responders and displaced families. We had personnel who were coordinating these thousands of meals that, you know, at first they went to just a few shelters, but after even just a couple days, it turned from three or four shelters to seven or eight shelters. And then within two or three weeks, it was like 14 and 15 different locations that people were receiving prepared meals from. The Salvation Army continues to provide food assistance, but as that immediate need begins to taper off, we begin to provide the financial assistance and applying the funds and the donations that we've received towards the long-term vision of what is in store for these friends and family members in Lahaina who have lost everything. The need is great. It's absolutely great. This disaster will linger on for years to come because, again, these friends and families that we know and the communities that we know that were there are gone. Their homes are gone. In many cases, they've lost everything. And so it's gonna take a long time for that to be restored and the Salvation Army is going to be there. And so my message to the friends of the Salvation Army, those folks who wanna partner with us to serve this specific need, is to join us for the long term. We will continue to provide whatever assistance is necessary to meet the needs, the exact needs of those who are in, in Lahaina. The Salvation Army is here. Salvation Army will continue to be here. Salvation Army will continue to come alongside and do whatever we can to help. And that's why we exist, to love God, to love our neighbor, and to serve unconditionally.